Good evening, collective. This is a general healing and ascension message for my star seeds. Okay, there's no place like home. Is the energy I am picking up on and feeling for my star seed collective. Make sure you use this message for your highest and greatest good only. Personal star seed readings are available. The link is in the description box. Don't forget to like the video, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. It's hard remaining soft in such a hold, feeling like you're being held in a shell. But don't worry, that veil is being lifted, okay? Don't loosen your grip at this time. The weight of the world is not on your shoulders in no way whatsoever to my Divine Feminine. Some of you are going to have to take a leap of faith and jump out into that, into that space to get a bigger perspective. Some star seeds, you're attached to people that they don't know how to look at your perspective. But that's okay. Because you're not for everybody. Okay? To a specific divine feminine, I'm, hey, nice to know you. You watch my channel. Okay, very uplifting. I hope you catch these positive vibes, okay? Because you're on your path. But right now, whatever feelings that you have, you don't know how to feel. You just know you're going to survive what's going on. You, you have some attachments to some other females. You know what they do. Let me tell you something, though. They're not healing at all. And they're not healers. All right? And she knows who I'm talking to. What's the message from my star seeds this evening? High vibrational message from my high vibrational star seeds this evening, universe, please. And thank you. What's the message, star ancestors? What's the message do you have for my high vibrational collective? Soul gifts. You're being called. It's time to step up. You are a star family. We are a star family. You're part of a team of souls calling in that support. You are no longer in the energy of being codependent. Hold on to that independent energy, star seeds. My empathetic star seeds. <laughs> it says trust the timing trust the wave you came in on time is not running out star seeds let's clarify this you're called okay high vibrational star seeds y'all are high honor you know this if you didn't know now you know Divine masculines, y'all are empathetic star seeds. If you didn't know, now you know. It's about to be endings and judgment for those that pretended to be called, that pretended to be in high honor, and also for those that abused their authoritative positions. They are no longer official people. Some people literally are going to be asked, walk down, come down tomorrow, and they're going to have to go explain to their family how they've lost their job, 21 world card. Some high honor individuals, not high vibrational, those that work in this, this industry, they know what's coming. They've already been trying to put in their pension letters. Pull out their retirement. 
clarify star family you're a part of a team of uh you're a part of a team of souls calling in support what do my star seeds need to know about our star family they right outside a lot of people have been doing spell work on the star seeds they're ready our star our star family our support systems our star ancestors are waiting for us to call in this support whatever help you need all you have to do is put in the work ask and you shall receive you want a new job tighten up your resume you want a new car star a savings specifically for that car Clarify trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. Trust the timing. My left calf muscle is spasming. Something's going to happen to a low vibrational female very soon. Or a couple of them, to be honest with you. Their time has run out. They can't steal energy from us anymore. They got on the spiritual wave without a clue of what this was really about. Now they want to be high honor. Oh, I'm just going through a hard time right now because I'm going through my awakening. They're not star seeds. They're not going through an awakening. So expect some energies to be a want to be a part of your will of fortune, your justice. Yeah. Period. I keep hearing Biggie Small saying, if you don't know, now you know. Trust the timing. Trust the timing. Changes. Time is not running out. High honor flipped out on high honor. Low vibrational energies. It doesn't matter if they're not a twin flame. They're low vibrational karmic of like karmic to the karmic to the karmic of the fullest to the karmic. Those energies have gotten messages from the universe in different ways, impacting their money. People have been telling them, you are not mature. You are a main male. You're a thief. You're a false person. You're a liar. You're a cheater. Somebody's already gotten fired from the courthouse or institution and they haven't told their family yet divine masculine whatever you think about the low vibrational men that you've been coming across you don't have to go expose them to anybody because spiritually they've already been exposed just once you notice the fakeness Remove them from your space. Banish them. Block them. Stop talking to them. Your divine feminine has already handled some things that she needed to do on her part in spiritual court. What's already known doesn't need to be spoke upon. Energies that wanted you to feel stuck or in your head or like you were in spiritual jail. It's been spell work. Heavy aggregors. Energy vampires. When I say energy vampires have literally been trying to write down for you all to go through what they know is happening to them. And it's going to happen to them. They really sped that process up for them. Your time isn't running out, high vibrational star seeds. Expect some very positive changes. The wave, we're on the wave. We're not part of the war. While we're in hermit mode, we're really just remembering how to sever our energy from past lives that no longer serve our purpose. 
join my members only for four dollars and 99 cents if you haven't already for additional healing content like the video if you haven't already It's a party where I'm at. How can you trust the timing of your life a little more, Starseed? To seem that everybody has anxiety these days, constantly scanning for something they might have missed or a possible threat. Keep in mind that our body pointed in the same direction as, in our, as our soul is near impossible at such reactive speeds. You can't I won't say you can't. Someone's going to be driving too fast and they're going to go for the brakes and they're not going to work. Right now, star seeds, be reminded to take a deep breath and trust the wave, trust the season. There's no rush. And it's never too late. For some of you, if you spend your the rest of your time here worrying, you're going to miss that moment of really hearing God tell you what to do moving forward it's a lot of movement that's going to be happening our star ancestors our star family is literally coming up and down from earth back up to space they working hard that's why they're they're saying call in whatever support you need and i meant my post that I put on my community for those individuals to the fullest extent. Who do you think is from the same star family as you? And how can you call upon them for support? It could sometimes feel like looking in the mirror when you're communicating with specific individuals. And that's because our star family, our souls caught cut from a similar cosmic cloth. Not those cult members. Star family, we were all once part of the same soul. This is just the first lifetime that we're experiencing together. Some of you are going to cross paths with somebody if you happen if you haven't already, it's going to happen and you're none you're going to know instinctively why that person crossed your path. Someone's also going to pass away. If you have family and churches, covens, masonry, and the other organizations out here, and they've been using soul gifts and training to lie, cheat, steal, and be deceptive, I highly advise you to be putting in a lot of work for healing of those transgressions for yourself though. Because they are, they've already tried to put you down to receive their karma, star seeds. Children's fathers, relatives, past childhood friends, haters that never liked you from the jump. Smile in your face, whole time, wanna take your place. Backstab us, backstab us. I call forth the soul's gifts and soul training that I've received throughout all of my lifetimes. I'm ready to embody them all now without hesitation or fear. I fully commit to being here now. I'm ready to step into my soul's highest and most potent calling. I've been training for this for lifetimes. High vibrational star seeds, you're being called towards a creative project, passion, or adventure. Take this message as your confirmation. What you're you're facing the right way 
and where you are at this very moment is where you are destined to be. If you feel underprepared or thinking, who am I to do that? This is who you are to do that. What? <laughs> You have to remember that your souls, your soul has intelligence. That's why karmics steal from us. Our soul intelligently chose the perfect condition for us to carry out our soul's mission, aka North Node. Let's get into the tarot. Only take what resonate, Lee what don't. There's a masculine leader of a community. Whatever you are indecisive about, you already know it's because you needed to study someone a little closer. Closer than close. Now that you've studied what you need to study, go into a meditative state to get more inspiration for the creative project and adventure. Officials that'll be getting fired moving forward, those official persons in reverse. Some of them are literally going to commit suicide before they go to prison. Some have already been in an interrogation room and they lied. So they're going to get locked up right there in the interrogation room. To my fire sign masculines, if you know you're having a hard time accepting your own truths, about who you worked with and what you all did to divine masculine twin flames trying to steal their memories. Using spell work. I want you to know something. You, Those individuals were not tricking to our star family they only trick themselves so now those masculine energies know that well, i already said what i said if you feminines low vibrational feminines high vibrational feminines if you know you're walking away from low vibrational masculine energies you have to allow them to go through that death rebirth transformation. Divine feminine, your divine masculine is going through a rebirth trans excuse me, transformation at this time. They're being exposed to their own emotional depths. Some men were never taught that it was okay to cry. Feeling sad was considered a weakness. So you have a lot of masculines being hooked by their feminine ancestors, letting them know crying is a way to bring you good health. Shedding those tears, thinking about missed opportunities, reminiscing in the past. It's okay now. You're about to have a brand new, they are about to have a brand new, new start as divine masculines as empathetic starseed masculines divinely guided and protected the whole way as they're taking leaps of faith to a low vibrational feminine energy it's over you won't live to do that ritual come Tuesday you already started preparing tonight you will not live to see Tuesday to do that ritual 
that's a low vibrational cancer female a low vibrational leo female and that libra already knows that's why she didn't put any money in Played yourself, stick a quarter up your ass, is what I just heard. To the rest of my collective, high vibrational star seeds, you're being divinely guided right now by your spirit guides to start keeping up with your dreams, writing them down. When you go into a meditative state, you are going to see judgment. You are going to see people fall ill you're going to see them sick while you are meditating meditate for truths to quickly be exposed so that your adventure can go as your star family is working hard for it to go karma justice I'm done addressing the low vibrational courthouse workers. You all can excuse yourselves at this point in time. Clarify high honor. Call high honor. Call. Potential. Full card. New beginnings. Congratulations, star seeds. You all have spiritually leveled up. If you know you are a high priestess, do not use your gifts for money. Do not use your gifts in creativity and empress energy for money. If you want to make music, make music because you like doing it. It's a passion, not for money. She knows who I'm talking to. Clarify full card. High honor on high honor. Called. Celebration. Celebrate good times. Come on. You're going to have to speak up at a party or a gathering, a wedding, a celebration. Public speaking. You're going to have to speak up. You're going to be called to speak somewhere collective. That's why it's important for you to meditate. If you go up there sounding hurt, you're not going to get that victory and success that you want. And you're going to be in deep regret because you wouldn't have meditated and practiced clearing your mind and looking at what you're speaking about from a different perspective. So low vibrational masculine. Someone's getting a letter. That they they have a court date coming up. One of your children's fathers. And he went really, really fast to try to go close that cycle out. But even his karmic female told him, baby, we can't juggle that. I can't juggle that. She told him, one of y'all's child's fathers or ex-husbands. Or if you're presently married and you, you know that that person went and had a third party. You doing your divorce. You praying. You want to make sure you and your children or child is straight. Y'all being patient. Yeah. He went to his karmic trying to make a plan. And she told him the truth. No. I ain't doing it. No, I ain't doing it. I learned my lesson. I'm trying to go to a different way. I've already been exposed. My nigga. Is what I just heard. Clarify tool and labor with the star family seven of wands what you're doing is being protected your plans moving forward two of wands is protected when you feel stressed out burdened the actions that you're doing aren't making sense that means it's time to go in hermit it's time for you to go within that's the only way this work can get done whoever's projecting onto you it's a tower coming for their child's mom 
and you're going to see it on social media. So to a masculine watching, and you call yourself having people in competition, your mother is about to go through psychosis. This mother could be a Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's coming. And that's how divine feminines are going to know. That's who the fuck been trying to sacrifice me? Yeah, y'all about to find out what masculines been out here. Acting like little girls. Little karmic girls at that. Trust the timing. Change. Trust the timing. Change. Trusting that we are on the way. Yeah. I know he. I know. I know my child's father. The last one. Is beyond fed the fuck up. But he ain't fed up with me. He tired of whoever swear they in a competition with me. Bitch. Where? You couldn't even compete with my mothering skills. That's why you sad and depressed on my channel still watching. You can't try to get healing from who you stole from. That's reprobate. Page of swords. Nymph of swords. I'm a nympho. Bitch, you burning and toxic. I'm sorry to my divine masculine. I, I didn't mean to call her out, but she's watching and heartbroken. I'm trying not to swear and say bad words. Trust the wave and change. What do my star seeds? <laughs> Some uh, car accident spells are backfiring this week. Especially the ones that was done on me. For like a year and a half straight. So. I advise you to drive slow. To, lo to, to the low vibrational feminine energies. That's been trying to cause changes. For high vibrational star seeds. Men, women, non-binaries. Divine feminines and divine masculines. Yeah. Your biggest fear is here. Somebody was like, I walked away. I, you walked away because a masculine ancestor got on your ass. Somebody almost got shot. Dry by. Yeah. You think spell work that was done a year or two years ago or was paid for to have people harmed end up hitting other people it's consequences remember lover's energy is consequences clarify trust the timing and change for my high vibrational star seeds we have the moon subconscious hierophant judgment chariot Embrace the changes, star seeds. Accept the lessons that's going to be given to you moving forward. Secrets about sex orgies, rituals, and things like that done by those people, the unofficial people in reverse, but they sat in seats of high honor and they're going to be forced to walk away. It's going to be happening in the upcoming times, y'all. This is all major arcana right here. All major arcana came out for trust the timing. And change. What did I say? When you go in hermit mode. You got to go in a real meditative state. 
it's time to go. Moving from old places into better ones without a plan on coming back. It also means be adaptable. A change. It can manifest via change in location, change in career. Your outlook on relationships with people may change or other social situations. Some of y'all need to free yourselves subconsciously from people that you're friends with on social media because their time is running out. They are part of the war and not the wave. Okay, star seats. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.